Mitsubishi is much more technical. It's got an active centre differential which moves the power to the front wheels or the back wheels depending on which have the most grip. All I have to do is tell it whether we're on tarmac, gravel or snow. And then it's got something called super active yaw control which moves the power from side to side. Sometimes then, in a really big corner when you're really hammering, this car is one-wheel drive. So I can sum them up like this. The Mitsubishi is like an F-16 fighter, light and highly manoeuvrable. The Subaru is more like an F-15, a fighter bomber. As far as power's concerned, both of them get close to 150 miles an hour and both do 0 to 60 in under five seconds. You can't split them on looks either. And inside, both have willfully flimsy interiors that are lifted only by the big seats and the buttons for spraying cold water on the intercoolers. On the outside, the Subaru tries to lighten up with its pink and gold jewellery, but both these cars really are shamelessly aggressive. Look at the scoop on this bonnet. And they seem to have given the Evo so many steroids, it started to grow out of its own body. You know what these cars should be called, don't you? The Mitsubishi Did You Spill My Pint and the Subaru You Outside Now. Trying to decide which is best is hard. They're both spoon-bendingly, hallucinogenically, law-breakingly mad and absurd. On a wide open road like this, the nimbler Mitsubishi wins. But when things get narrow and bumpy, the Evo really does turn into a jet. On a difficult road like this, the Impreza feels more planted. So, which would I buy? Ooh, I can't give you an answer now. I'll be far too much fun. So, Jeremy, what did you discover after your unnecessarily long trip to Scotland? Nothing. Right. It's impossible to choose between these two cars. There's no tangible reason why you'd take one rather than the other. The only thing I will say is that when we'd finished filming and I just had to drive back to the hotel, I always found myself getting into the Subaru. No, exactly what you mean. Couldn't tell you why. I prefer the Impreza. Always have. No idea why. It's like, you know, I prefer dark chocolate to milk chocolate. Yeah. I prefer Bedford to Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> right. 